Hi everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. Someone told me that today is Sunday. I have no idea which day today. Uh, since a month, not knowing it. <laughs> so who knows? So today is the day when we close the week, the emotional week. Let's remember that thing that we are doing is for a work, for the coherence of the being. Some of you have been joining us now, not from from the very beginning. So they, <clears throat> some of you have been asking, uh, what do we have to do? do? Do we have to start from the very beginning and then join? There's no need to do all the things that we did before to catch us up. But I would recommend you someday, somehow, to try to do the meditations or at least to read the text of the blog, because they will be uh, something helpful helpful for for having the idea of what we're working. So um, some of you also have been um, asking, where is the blog and how do I get the blog? Uh, the blog is everywhere in each one of our social media. Uh, every day I post a link with the, a story in Facebook and Instagram with the link to go to the blog, to the text of the day, but it's easy. The name of the blog is just yo soy, in Spanish I am, yo soy dot red. Red like, like the color for English, but uh, it's not the color. Uh, red means network in Spanish. Some of the things, maybe you will take like, like years to process some of these issues. Just realize that this information is there whenever you need it. Remember that if we have some uh, limit dates, some specific dates to make a collective work, there is no limit date for the individual process. Some of you maybe um, could start to follow all this path in December next year. And you would maybe say, uh, oh my God, I lost everything. So now it won't work. No, you can start whenever you want to do it. It doesn't matter. Okay. This is timeless. That's it. So the reason why we're doing this in this moment, in this time, is because we have a limit in a date to make a collective work, which is February 22nd, 2022. Hmm? So this is why we are doing this now. So we are trying to be as many of us connected for that day. So as many we can be there. So I know that many of you have been um, doing many questions and maybe you have doubts about the things that we are working, but just relax because we have only done 20 days today, uh, just two weeks of 10 days of a whole year. So we still have 12, no, 11 months and one week ahead. So every day we will have something new. Don't worry and just try to process the information that you are receiving each day. Don't live in the future, just each day. Uh, some people are asking about why that date? Why do we have to wait for that time? So um, in the blog, you have all that information. It's all written there. So I invite you to go to the blog and see that, to read. We are going to do today is to work with the Taurus, which is the last aspect that will integrate, will integrate everything that we have worked in these past days. What we are going to work today is the emotional shield. Emotional shield is like a magnetical field that surrounds the whole body and is created by the emotions and the energy. Of course, emotion energy is the same, by the energy that is coming from each one of the emotions from each one of our chakras. So all of them together, connected, is what we used to call aura. And this aura uh, is like the skin for our body, the one protecting us from the outside and also is the one nourishing from the things that we receive from the outside. This magnetical field of emotion is the one that represents kind of a, like a filter, allows us to perceive the information from the outside. So we perceive the world through that 
shield of energy. And this is why when we receive something new in our body, it's first processed by the emotional level, by the system of emotions. So this is why one of the things that we have to do is to make our magnetical field flexible. Because if we are trying to change ourselves, to transform ourselves, what we have to, to allow ourselves to receive new perspectives, to make this uh, magnetical field flexible, to receive new information. We have to acknowledge this because our magnetical field, our emotional pattern, has been shaped by all the preconceived ideas that we have from the outer world. Everything that is in the outside is received by the magnetical field and the emotion translates that into patterns. And those patterns within us are called beliefs. These are patterns of beliefs. So nothing that is in the outside is really what we expect it to be what we think that it is. It is always constantly a perception of a belief. <clears throat> this structure, these patterns, start to create so many strong patterns, creating a shield that is protecting us from the outside. This is what, what, brings, us, what brings to us is that we are not flexible facing the change. So what I said was that uh, everything that is in the outside is just a perception by the filter of our emotional magnetical uh, energy that <clears throat> translates that information into patterns that we call beliefs. So when something new from the outside is trying to go within and change our perception of reality, it's called like a breaking of beliefs. So um, it hurts. So what I have to ask myself is not if this information that comes from the outside is right or is true or not, if I should believe it. What I have to ask myself is, is, is if I am willing to be open to that new information. This is why when we have to work with ourselves is to be flexible at the time to receive this information. An important thing is if I don't believe something or I don't feel something, it doesn't mean that that something isn't true. It means that my emotional field is not ready to understand that truth because it's not resounding with me. But also, we can do the opposite and believe everything that comes from the outside. This is why, why it's so important the resonance, not the belief. So, for example, something that might be crazy. But I don't believe in what I do. I don't believe in anything that I do. I resound with what I do. And what it means to resound, it means that I am constantly open to receive new information that helps me to transcend into a new level of awareness of what I do. This is the way in which we can be open, not only to be ourselves, but also to receive new things to transform ourselves. When I say I believe in what I do, sometimes I am closing myself in just my perception and I am not being able to accept new things that maybe I don't believe in, but they are useful. So this is why we need to understand how to use, how to use the, how to use the, uh, the, um, the emotion. Because if we know how to handle the emotion, we then understand how to be open to receive information. Otherwise, the, the emotion is not allowing us to create, it's, it's just putting us like a rock, like stretching everything. Someone was asking, how do I know if I resound? It's very impossible to say how you should resound because each one is, is different. The, maybe the best way to understand how is to resound is to think about the tuning forks so imagine that resound, uh, resonate, comes from the word re, that means to go back again, to do it again. And um, sound, of course, or sonate, that comes from sound. So it's a tuning fork sounding, and the sound comes to the other one. Okay, so this one produced the sound, 
but this one other starts to vibrate exactly the same because they are exactly the same, okay, at the same height. So this one says, how can I be vibrating this if I don't know? I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to make the sound, but I sound that inside. So this is re sounding, okay, is sounding again. And of course, if this tuning fork is very high, so it sounds like and the other one, they are unsounding. <laughs> I don't know the word in, in English, but they doesn't sound well. So um, they are dissonant, dissonant maybe. Uh, so it means that you are not hearing well each other. So usually as humans, we think that this one is lying to you and this one thinks that you are wrong, okay? And they fight each other because they say they are mistaken or lying. So what we are going to do today is this and expand this resonance of our emotional level. The vibration of the day is... It's like a breathing out. So the statement of today is eternal life because the two ages is one, the life, the cycle, the history, and the other one, of course, is the same. So it is like a constant cycle repeating. The code of today is the vibration U. And it says, sounds the blow generated by the wind in the hole, in the, in the, in the hole of a, in the hole, sorry, in the hole of a jug where the water of life are poured. Uterus of creation in the black hole that will generate matter for life. U is the breath of the mother, the matrix, that awakens the, the, emergence, the emergence of universal life. Let's go to that. Take a moment to stretch your body to feel the most comfortable position for you. Stretching, yawning, and massaging your body. I leave all the weight of my arms, shoulders to fall down. And I focus just in my breathing. Hacia mis pulmones. Breathe in. Being aware of the oxygen going to your lungs your heart, your blood, your organs, and your muscles. Tomo conciencia ahora de la luz del yo soy sobre mi cabeza a la cual voy a invitar a ingresar a todo mi cuerpo I become aware now I become aware now of the light of the I am over my head and I will invite it to come inside my body Take a deep breath and feel the light of the ion irradiate in the crown chakra. I recognize it and I say to myself, I can't feel my consciousness. I can't feel my consciousness. I bring the light of the I am to my third eye, watching its light irradiate to every direction.
I pronounce to myself. I can perceive my projection of things. I can feel my perception of things. Take a deep breath. I repeat to myself. I can feel my truth. I can feel my truth. Take a deep breath, bringing the light of the I am towards my heart. I see the light of the heart chakra expand towards all directions. Bring the light of the I am. And I repeat to myself, I can feel my being. I can feel my being. Breathe in and take the light to the sacrum. I feel the sacrum chakra irradiate as I repeat to myself, I can feel the creation. I can feel the creation. Take a deep breath, bring in the light of the I am to your root chakra, irradiating towards every direction. And I repeat, I can feel myself as a creator. I can feel myself as a creator. Breathe in and take the light to your knees, watching them irradiate brighter as two stars. I repeat, I can feel my history. I can feel my history. Take a deep breath and bring the light of the I am towards your ankles and feet, watching the light irradiate to every direction. And I repeat, I can feel my path. I can feel my path. Feel the projection, the expansion of your own light around you. Take a deep breath and irradiate from each one of your chakras, all this power and light filling up all this space around you. With my hands, I try to feel the energy around me, trying to touch the limits of this magnetical field, try to feel the energy, the heat, the limits. Is it juicio alguno? Take a deep breath. Without expectations, neither judgment. I allow myself to feel in front of me the emotion that I am feeling the most surrounding my body. I recognize it. Which one is that negative emotion that protects me from the outer world? I extend my hands, I take this negative energy in between my hands. I recognize that this emotion that is surrounding my whole magnetical field 
has done everything to protect me. If thanks to it, I honor this emotion for everything that has done for me. I take this emotion towards my heart and with all my love, I say to it, thank you for everything. But now, I am able to do it. I am ready to transform myself. I say to the motion, I can, I can, I can. And I'm bringing it to my heart with all the light and love of the I am. What is that emotion, the positive emotion in my hands that is surrounding my body and allows me to expand myself to the whole world? I honor it, I thank it for everything that this emotion does for me. I take it to my heart saying to it, I can, I can. Take a deep breath and expand from my from heart. All this emotion and deep breath and expand from my from heart. All this emotion and enter as the brightest light, expanding aura, your magnetic field towards the whole network, touching the network, the magnetical fields of each one of the people that is connecting to me, to all of us. I recognize the potential that I have within to use my in my heart again. I recognize I am the eternal life. Yo soy la I'm gonna take again my hands to my heart. I am the eternal life. So from my heart, I start to caress my body, bringing this awareness to each part of it, stretching my body, yawning, one at its own time, both eyes, coming back here and now. So again, if you feel this with a lot of energy, just walk barefoot. So tomorrow we start with the physical body in the last week of the Leo constellation. Thank you everybody for being there and see you tomorrow at the same time.